President Obama will announce a significant reduction of troops in Afghanistan in a speech from the White House this evening. And while we don't know the precise details of what the President is going to lay out, the belief is that he will announce that the entire 30,000 troops uh, from the surge of December 09 will be returned to the United States within about 18 months or by the end of 2012. This announcement will have complex implications for the President politically on Capitol Hill, which has grown weary of the war but is splitting in its response to what should be done in unusual ways. In the Republican Party, you have both traditional hawkish Republicans like Senator John McCain, who would like to leave as many combat troops in Afghanistan for as long as possible. In the Democratic Party, you have an anti-war left, which would like to pull out of Afghanistan altogether, and a more moderate contingent, symbolized by senators like John Kerry, who also want to bring home troops, but on a more measured scale. So this is breaking up uh, political lines in Washington in interesting ways, and has all kinds of implications as well for President Obama as he enters an election year in which some Republicans are staking out positions on the war that are actually to the left of the president. Similarly, in his relationship with the Pentagon, the president is walking a line between demanding a reduction that's deep enough to satisfy budgetary and political pressures on the Hill, while not putting the generals in a position of pulling out so many troops that they feel that they can't consolidate the gains they've made on the battlefield over the past 18 months. So it'll be a somewhat of a balancing act for the president, and some people have said that we'll know that he's got the balance right if nobody's happy with the decision he announces.